How's it going guys? Cameron here with Canadian Gamer coming at you with another video. This is a third in a series of videos that I've been doing uh, spearheaded by other members within the community. Basically a $100 challenge. You know, if you had only $100 in your back pocket or your front pocket and you were out to build a collection of games for said console with only $100 at your disposal, which games would you choose? And it's very difficult once you get into the nitty gritty of game selection, because as you all know, a lot of these games, especially on these vintage, the vintage hardware have gone up in price. And as I had mentioned in a, in a previous video, you know, what do you do? Do you pick, you know, seven or eight mediocre games? Uh, because you can fit them in under $100, you know, they're more inexpensive. Or do you pick a couple of heavy hitters and then you've used up the $100 on like two or three games? You know, it is a bit of a moral dilemma. Or do you get one heavy hitter for like 40 bucks, and then do you make up the rest of your collection with the average subpar games, right? It's, it's all up to you. It's the choice is yours. So this one won't take long. Um, as many of you probably know, uh, this list is going to be heavily influenced on racing games uh, but there is a little caveat towards the end of this video so you'll want to stay tuned for that so kicking it off here we've got chase hq2 for the sega genesis loose price 28 dollars and 62 cents so that right there took almost a third of my 100 dollars just on this game alone but this is uh non-negotiable if i'm going to have a collection for the Sega Genesis, at the very least, Chase HQ2 needs to be in there. And just like Chase HQ2, we've got Outrun, which is a loose price, $49.11. And Outrun is another game that uh, it's non-negotiable. If I'm going to have a Genesis collection, it's got to have Outrun in there as well. So I've already eaten up most of my budget here. Uh, but there's still a little bit of room left. So we've got Super Monaco GP for $6.82. Always a fan favorite. Lots of replay value and uh, speed running capabilities on that game. I'm still getting comfortable with Super Monaco GP as a, I have picked it up recently. And absolutely a lot of bang for your buck in that game. Uh, I believe it was one of the original launch titles for the Sega Genesis if I'm not mistaken. And the game came out in North America in 1989, and it's just a fantastic racing game all around. Some would even say Super Monaco GP, the original, is a better racing game over the sequel, Super Monaco GP2, featuring uh, Ayrton Senna. Uh, and then we've got here for $11.63, we've got Road Rash 2. So yeah, of course, I've got to have that in the collection. That's one of the best racing games from the 16-bit era. And for that price, yeah, that's absolutely going to be in my collection. No bones about it. Again, endless replay value. Um, some would even say it's the best Road Rash game in the series. That's up for debate. Uh, I know Road Rash that came out, the self-titled game that came out on the PS1, the Saturn, and 3DO is a really good version of Road Rash as well. But yeah, for here, Road Rash 2, $11.63. It's going to be in the collection. And then the last game here, I've kind of cheated a bit. Uh, I guess all is fair play because this is a valid cart you can get for the Genesis. And this is one that I picked up recently as well. And that's the triple score cart for the Sega Genesis. A lot of you guys probably don't know that it exists. $3.50 loose. And it comes with columns. And it also comes with Super Hang On as well, which is an expensive game standalone. But when you get it in the triple score pack... Yes, you're not seeing things. You're getting super hang-on columns and a, a third title here, a soccer game, which we don't really need to talk about. But yeah, that actually, believe it or not, brought me right up to $99.68. So I used up the entire budget and I've got about a quarter left for a vending machine so I can get myself some bubble gum. So yeah, short video, short selection, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let me know what you guys think of my selection and what would you guys choose as well for the Sega Genesis. So that's going to do it for this video. 
again, guys, thanks so much for watching. It's been fun doing these videos. I hope you guys have gotten a kick out of it. And uh, have a great rest of your night. Take care.